Canva recently announced game-changing AI tools within their platform to help take your design experience to another level. So today, I'll be sharing the important ones that are necessary for creating digital products while highlighting their functionality as well as their use case scenarios. Also, I'll be sharing some cool new features that you can't afford to miss. So let's dive right in. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. So the first set of tools I'll be talking about will be the Magic Eraser and the Magic Edit. So these tools are used for removing images or wanted images from a picture or to replace. So let's look at the first one, Magic Eraser. So on this photo, you could see that there is a weird looking giraffe here cut into half and I want to remove this. So the first thing you do is to click on the image, go to edit photo and this would appear at the very top. You'd see Magic Eraser and Magic Edit. So just to mention, some of the tools we'll be talking about today, some are in Canva Pro while some are free. So if you want to try out some of these tools that are in Canva Pro, I have um, a one month free Canva Pro account. The link is in the description. You could use that. So you click on Magic Eraser and you could see access you to choose a brush size. So let me increase it a little bit and I'm going to brush over this because I want to eliminate that and it's going to erase that particular image. Okay, and let's also erase this. We don't like how it looks. So it's done. So when it's done, you could click here to go back and you have your erased image. So the next one would be edit. So let's come to another copy of the image. So for instance, I don't want to erase this, but I want to replace it with another giraffe. So I'll click on the same image and go to edit photo. And the next thing I'll click on would be magic edit. So I'll click on magic edit. So you could increase the brush size or you could reduce it. So let's increase the brush size a little bit. And I'm going to brush over the area I want to replace the image. So I'm going to brush over this entire area. Okay, so once you're done, come here and click continue. So it's going to ask you to generate, to put in the text or what of the image you want to generate. So we want to generate. We want to generate another giraffe. So it's going to generate this image using their inbuilt AI. So let's click on generate and see what it's going to do. Nice. So it just brought in another one. This is another one. You could go through them and see if it's something you like. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So for instance, if you don't like what you have, you could create, you could click on generate new results. So let's do new results and see what it's going to generate for us. Okay. This doesn't look bad. So once you're done, so let me just select this and say done and voila you have the image here placed well and this is the erased one and this is the one that was replaced this is really cool so the next tool we'll be talking about will be magic design so this particular one is helps you to visualize your ideas and as well as find templates that you want to create so we'll come to the home screen of canva and we're going to go to here that says discover the magic from Canva create and then we would look for magic design so let's look for that and this is it we'll click on it and click on try it out so it opens this bar here and it asks you to insert an image which it would use to generate a couple of ideas for you so i'm going to click on insert media and i'm going to choose from the ones i have already so i'll just put of this image so let's say that we want to design an inspiration or motivational template for either your instagram or you're trying to create a digital product so let's see i like this so what you need to do is come here you'd see image so you could change the image you see the style once you click on the style you could choose the type of colors you want or the and the type of font as well then you could have a headline if you choose so let's say I choose this and say see results. It's going to update the pictures you have here based on the style you have chosen. 
so this doesn't look bad so let's click into this and click on customize this template and voila you have your design and then you could go ahead to modify it and change it to anything that you want so this leads me to another tool which is called magic write so magic write helps you to write texts or generate text based off of the prompts you have given it so now we are on this page i'm going to show you two case scenarios on how to use magic write one would be in images like this and the other one would be in the canva doc so in images like this you select the box as you can see there's this tiny button here called canva assist you could click on it and we are going to you could see that it's saying summarize text expand text rewrite edit magic write so we'll just say edit so we'll change this and say motivational quote on productivity So immediately it's going to generate a text for us as you can see so let's reduce this and it has generated the text already so if you have used um open ai that's chat gpt you can see it's similar it gives you like a quote this is cool so this is how you could use the magic right within a design so let me show you how you could use the magic right in Canva doc to generate like a lot of text depending on what you want to create. So we go back to the home. So we cancel this and go back to the home. So at the very top of the home, you, you would see this doc. So you click on the doc and click here, start writing. It's going to open up to another window and open up canva doc so here we're going to be generating text for our ebook so ebook is another digital products that you could create and sell so let's say we want to generate an ebook for 20 digital products you could sell on etsy for instance so you could come to the plus button okay and select magic right and it would say 20 digital products To sell on Etsy and press enter and it generates this text for you and the good thing is this is like it gives you like reasonable digital products some we have talked about on this channel already so let's see for instance you want to expand the printable wall art what we're going to do is select on this Let's just select it, printable wall art, and go to the plus. So the good thing about the magic right is that you could summarize, you could expand, you could rewrite, you could edit. The tool is really, really cool. So let's say we want to expand on printable wall art. Let's just click on it. And as you can see, it expands basically, it gives you more detail about printable wall art. Then let's see if we could expand the social media template and see what it's going to say so expand so you could see it gives like a detailed breakdown of each of these particular digital products and you could choose to rewrite it if you don't even like what it is right so you could select so let me just switch off this so you could select so let's say if we want to rewrite this we don't like how it sounds Let's just select this and go back to the plus and say rewrite. And it generates a different new one entirely. So you, you could use this to build off your your ebook without even leaving Canva. And when you are done with the text, you could always move it into the designs that you like. So the next thing I'll be talking about would be magic presentation. This one is really interesting. So let's go back to the home. Okay. And go to for you. So for, from the home, let's look at magic presentation. We look for it here. So this is it. We'll click on it and try it out. 
so this particular one helps you to create stunning presentations in seconds like literally in seconds so let's just type in that we want like 10 popular desserts so let's say and we just hit enter and let's see what it's going to do and immediately it gives me 10 slides based off of a color template i have already this is nice let it finish loading and it gives you different styles and you could go ahead and you know choose to edit it the way you like but i like this this looks cool this test is a little bit dull so you could change it so yeah let's choose this and you just click on create presentation if you don't like any of these you could just say start again and it, it generates new more templates or you could say the style so you could see click here and see more styles that it has but we have chosen this so let's click on click on create my presentation and this is it guys this is stunning then i can go ahead and make any um changes that i want but let's just go through the presentation wow it picks up the images according to the 10 that i have li that i it listed without making mistakes this is really cool i'm sure I'm gonna use this to create some presentations definitely okay so that is it for magic presentation so the next one i'll be talking about would be translate so for instance you have a different audience from different parts of the world i want to translate the text to another language this is where this tool comes handy so you could select this you could come here for instance on this select this and come to the sidebar here you could see the word translate the eye is missing so let me select it again yeah with the eye and say translate it automatically is going to automatically detect which language it is or if you want you could select the language it is so let's just leave it automatically and see what it's going to do and say we're going to want to translate to french and select that and for instance we want to apply to all the pages or just to the selected option so let's just do this on just page 8 alone and click on translate so just to mention you can see that even for pro users it gives you the number of um, translations you could use before um, your next subscription so let's just click on translate and it's doing that and it translated it to French Ooh, things just got way way easier so you could do this for your different slides like i selected only one page but i could change so let's see if i change it to um page this is page nine no page 10 so let's go and select page 10 and say translate yeah this is really cool so if you're enjoying this video so far and finding value please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join this community so the last one that i'll be looking at in terms of the tools before i show you some of those cool features would be text to image so let's go to the design we had here we just click on a blank canvas so for example we want to create let's just say another food giraffe not as a replacement and we would come to the sidebar and you could go to your apps and at the very top you would see text to image and say use okay so let's try so you could choose the different styles of what you want to create so it has photography digital art it has fine art so let's choose like in paint and let's say our giraffe and it gives you the different aspect ratios but we have an aspect ratio already so we click on create image and it's going to generate based on the style that we have chosen so depending on what you're looking for you might need to try a couple of times just to get what you you want so let's just say create again let's see if it's going to give us something interesting so assuming i like this so i'll just click on this and it gives me that image depending on what you're using it for so you could use this to generate endless and countless images for your design while you're working within canva 
So now that we have discussed some of these tools, let's look at some of the cool features that they have. So I'm going to go into the text that we generated. So the first one I'll be talking about would be Canva Assist. So once you click here, this is like almost like a shortcut. It helps you to find anything within Canva and it gives you access to things like magic right, right away or right from the bad. And you could see layers, draw, translate, resize. So this is a very handy one that you might need to you know, check out. Instead of going to the left bar to start searching for things, you could always use the Canva Assist to find what you're looking for. So that's the first feature. The next one would be layers. I think this one um, takes it up a notch for me because when I'm designing, I need to move things around. So for example, if you want to bring this forward, you could just right click and say uh, layers and bring it forward. But where it becomes cool is they have added show layers, which is not, which is what Canva didn't have for a very long time. So you could basically drag anything you want. So I want the blue to be on top of the red of the orange. So I'll just click here and drag and voila, you could see it brings it forward without you scrambling to see how the layouts um, play out. So for instance, I want to drag it to the very top. I will drag this in and there you have it or drag it back because I want my design the way it is. Yeah, so this is very important in, you know, moving images based off of layers. And the last one that I'll be showing you would be color gradient. So let's click on this. For instance, I want to change this color. I'll go to color and come to the plus. And now we have something called gradient here. So you click on it. And what you could do is, for instance, I want to have a gradient of black and another color. So you click on the second color and say, for instance, I want to make it this color. And it gives you different styles. So you could switch to see what works for you based on your design. And if you want the light blue color to come first, you just drag and drop at the front or drag the black the back of the blue and it changes how it looks entirely so this is um, another cool feature you could use to create color gradient within your design without having just block of colors in your designs yeah so there you have it you know try out all these features and let me know in the comment sections which one has helped your workflow and don't forget there's a, a free um pro account link in the description you could use that to try out majority of these features and if you like these videos be sure to like subscribe and turn on your bell notification to know when i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one